So this is what I'm going to be building today. It's a pistol made out of paper that rotates and will shoot two shots. So let's go ahead and test it out. Rotate and So to start building this elastic band, we first start with a dowel. You can also use um, those markers that are the same um, width all around and that attach head to head. Those I find work well too. And um, get the sheet of paper and we're going to start. This will be the smallest wrap you'll have to do. And we're going to wrap it around this dowel as tight as possible to the dowel. Make sure you're going straight and then roll it up. Once you have it all the way rolled up, you tape it off with a piece of tape. And I do the tape on the very end, the middle, and the other end. And there you have it. This is going to be your base piece. You can actually, uh, you're going to be wrapping other things around this one here. So you can make sure it's, you don't have any like big ridges like uh, this one here, like this big ridge right here. Get rid of that by taping that down. There we go. So now we're going to wrap one around this. We're actually going to do this twice. So now we have this outer one made and we can pull the inside one out of it. And you want to make another one of these right here that fits right on top of this one here. So we're going to use a thinner one to do the exact same thing and build another one of these. So we have our inner one here and our two outer ones. Now what we need to do now is slide the uh, inner one inside and basically what we want to do is make a long roll. So this will be our long roll right here and the way we're basically connecting it is with the inner one. So now we have a really long roll and um, go ahead and put some glue on this here so that it doesn't shift around. So I have these two pieces attached now. I put the glue in the middle so they won't slide around on the, um, on the pole that they're on. And uh, now I'm going to just put a line of tape down uh, both of these just to make it kind of look nicer. Because right now it's um, just flaring out a little in the areas where it's not taped. Now this isn't necessary to do, but it does make it look a little nicer and cleaner. And it'll help out with the next step a little. Um, so next what we're going to do is grab another sheet of paper. And uh, we're going to wrap it around this here. And as you can see, this slides freely up and down and rotates freely around this, uh, this center one right here. <clears throat> so we have this one right here that fits on top of um, this tube right here. And uh, I want to make two more of these now, two more of these. So go ahead and do that.
and the same as always, just tape it off. Now I have to make one more of these. So now we have the center piece and three of the wider pieces. What you'll need next is three clothes hangers, as you can see here, and three paper clips. We'll take the paper clips and attach them to one end of each of these. And you can go ahead and put tape around the paper clip if you'd like so it doesn't move. Like that. Just like that. And then on the other end, at the very end of it, so one end we have the paper clip, the other end we're going to glue this on and we want it to be facing the same way as the uh, paper clip and we want it to be in line with the paper clip too. So go ahead and get some hot glue and then just hot glue it on there and just put it at the very back. Try not to have it hang over the back but have it at the back. Alright, so I went ahead and uh, glued the, um, the closed pegs on this right here. And as you can see, it's in line with our paper clip at the end. And I just remembered you only do it on two of them. You do it on two of them, and the third one, you don't put the uh, paper clip on or a clothes peg. We just leave that one bare. And uh, you'll see why right here. So now, if you get it right, you can slide this one here onto this, and it will rotate around freely. And then, you attach these two, one, two, right onto here, and you can do that with glue, and uh, so that gives you the rotating barrel type thing, right, like that. So just go ahead and glue that. So we have our functional part complete right here, this part that rotates around it, and um, now what I'm going to have you do is make a few more of these cylinders here. The cylinders that fit over this here. So again, you just make them by wrapping the paper around this part here, right? Like we did before and taping it off. And so these cylinders will be the same size as this, these here. And um, so we can start off by cutting this a little shorter here. Or at least in my design, I like it a little shorter. So we'll cut it a little shorter. If we want more off later, we can take more off. Um, next. I'm going to put this over the end here. And uh, this is optional, but I just like having this piece here and this piece here the same size. It looks a little better. You may not be able to tell on camera, but it does look better. So you can put that over, cut it to size again, because you don't need too much. And put that over the way we have it here. And then you can also get a small piece here on the front so this doesn't slide off, so it doesn't slide off like this, right? You can get a small piece and just put it on the front, so I'll just cut a small piece off and slide it over the front here. And you can glue that in place if you like. I'll do that after though. So as you can see I got the front piece on now finally, it took me a while but I got it on right there. And so you can just put a little glue to stop it from coming off, I'll do that after though. And you're just gluing this part here to the part underneath it, right? You want to make sure this can still rotate freely. And then um, let's put this back on, I took this off. So now I'm going to cut another piece and uh, just line it up with this one I guess because I don't know exactly how I want the design yet. So I'll just line it up. Just make sure there's a little bit of tape on it still so it doesn't undo on this side, right? And I can use the glue gun to uh, just glue that right here. like this and while I'm at it I'll go ahead and glue this part underneath 
So just two little dabs of glue. And just slide that on like that. So now I have this rotating piece up here like that. And then we'll also glue the front piece now. Just put a dab of glue there. And um, I'm going to just cut the top off because the top I want it to be a little shorter. I actually glued it there, but I changed my mind on how I want it, so I'll need to rip a little bit. Take that piece out. And I have this here. And now what I want to do is I just want to make it go back a little, so grab my glue gun. Glue along the bottom. Attach that right there. Like so. And then one more piece here to finish the handle off. I'll slide that back a little and leave it right there. And flatten it out and then add some glue to uh, reinforce everything. Now to finish it off, I just modified the handle just a little bit and I used this um, this dowel right here. So the original dowel we used, that's the, that was the smallest thing that we first wrapped around. I used that and um, you guys might have used markers too. And um, I wrapped two pieces of paper around it and I cut them in half. So this is half, half. And this side here is half, half a roll, half a roll. And um, as you can see, this is the final handle. And I cut the pieces to kind of make it kind of um, even on the way down here, if you can see that. So it's kind of straight. So I just cut it with scissors like that. And these here also, I cut them like that. And then um, this almost makes the gun an underhand pull, so you can pull it from the bottom here, the way the trigger is configured. So when you're firing, you can pull it from the bottom, or you can use your thumb from the top, and of course it rotates.